Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Vice City. And if you guys enjoy this playthrough, please do drop a like on it because it does help the series out a lot. But on this part, we're going to be buying the film studios. So we just have only two businesses left, the film studios and the pole position club. And we're going to be purchasing both in this part. So let's do it. Film studio purchased. The film studio is the largest business that you can own by like just length, like property size. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. 12 inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy! That's why! What is this? This is my art! Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, phew, wow. What's that guy think this is? Some free art crap? Jeez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? So, um, the film studio has, um, uh, four missions to complete it. And, um, now that I think about it, is the film studio the longest business? I think it is. Malibu Club has two missions. Um, the, um, Protection Ring Asset has three missions. Printworks has two. Taxi has three. Yeah, so the, um, the, the film studios are the, the business that has the most amount of missions. Now, for the film studio missions... Uh, two of the missions during the film studios are kind of like, you know, um, uh, debated missions in the GTA community. Because the film studio, the missions that you play in this, some people like them and some people absolutely hate them. Um, it really depends on how you, um, uh, it depends on how you think. But I'll, I'll talk about those two missions when I get them. In this first mission, most people don't mind. But the next few missions, uh, some people really don't like. What the? I can't. What the? What? I remember that you could you could go through this in the original. Okay, that's like... Wow. Well, the car just um, lost a lot there. Yo, Candy. Looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this asshole? Yeah, this now. Oh what the I try to get the shotgun out. I like how these guys are shooting at me and the cops are going after me. But, um, uh, Candy calls her, her pimp, her agent. And, um, uh, this guy, uh, you just gotta chase him down and kill him. And, uh, when you actually ram his car, he'll actually stop and three more guys will get out. Okay, let's see, get the M4 out here. Okay, now he's got to go back and pick up Candy. Get this car will be perfect. We need a four-door car anyways. So, um, at this point, get a four-door car because you're going to need it. The cops are going to make this a little bit annoying. Let's go. 
Okay, let's get that, um, that police bribe, damn. Yeah, this is getting a bit annoying right now. Oh, my tire is popped, oh no. Hopefully I can go through this. Ah. Okay. Here you go. Just one star now. Should be easier to escape. So we go over here to the pizza, um, uh, the pizza place, and we go and, um, uh, pick up Mercedes, huh? Let's take a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take the Love Fist limo here. Easy four-door car to get here if you complete the Love Fist missions, and, um, pretty fast, too. Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. So now we get Mercedes and um, uh, Candy back to the film studio. And this pizza place, you know what this pizza place is also famous for? Well, it looks like Candy is glitching out. She's having a hard time getting out of the store. Okay. So this pizza place, um, in Vice City Stories, it actually plays a huge role. In Vice City Stories, you meet Lance there shortly after he arrives in Vice City, and you're supposed to meet his friend Forbes, um, but what happens is a bunch of robbers come in, they hold up the pizza place, uh, you kill them, you get out of the pizzeria, and then the cops are outside, and they blame you for the robbery, and then you have to lose the cops, and then you gotta go to the, um, to the compound. So first mission for the film studio, not too bad. Hey Tommy, you coming in for a warm up? Maybe later, babe. Cool shark. Uh, so Steve, the director, he insists on a shark being in every single one of his movies, which, that's basically a parody of Jaws, how there was, like, in the, um, 1980s, there was a lot of, like, movies with sharks and stuff like that, and so you'd hear that, like, dun-dun-dun music, and then you would see, like, the, um, the shark fin in the water. The, that's basically what Vice City's making fun of there. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. <laughs> what I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. So, uh, this mission here, this is one of those missions that some people like. Some people hate. Um, I actually don't mind this mission um, because it's, this is the only mission in Vice City where I actually fly a plane. And yes, there are planes in Vice City. A lot of people think there's no planes, there's only helicopters. There are planes. The sea, the seaplane here, the um, uh, the skimmer. It's what it's called. But um, the reason people don't like this mission is because you have to do some crazy maneuvers. And, um, uh, you have a fuel supply, so the, they might, in the Definitive Edition, they might have given you more fuel than the original, but I always passed this mission, I didn't have that much of a trouble, but if you're good with air vehicles, you know, you're good with timing things, you shouldn't have really have a problem with this mission. So, you go from one point to another, you start dropping the flyers for the movie. And this is, um, uh, this is actually somewhat of a way that movies, um, were actually advertised back in the day. But, um, this doesn't really happen anymore. They're not gonna drop flyers from planes or stuff like that because it's illegal. And it's gonna, um, uh, 
you know, imagine what would happen if this stuff got in the water, or, you know, um, uh, it, you know, it fell on highways, you know, it, it, it could cause cr accidents. So that's why, you know, you don't really have people dropping flyers anymore today. There was a video game I remember um, uh, when I was a teenager growing up. It was called Homefront, and it was the original Homefront. Um, uh, and uh, the, the one that came out in two, it was 2010 or 2011. It's a game where North Korea becomes a superpower in the future and invades America. Um, but anyways, in that game, the, uh, there was an event that they, the developers did for the game in which they went, I think it was, was it San Francisco? And they ended up dropping up, like, leaflets or something they dropped. I think balloons. Maybe it was balloons, actually. Um, to mark, like, the, uh, the game. And what happened was that, like, went in the waters in San Francisco and got people really pissed off. So, yeah, just like, you know, you have good balance. You know, watch the trees. The trees can be a bit annoying. Watch, you know, other stuff in the air. But in the original Vice City, I think that the helicopters aren't really there. The helicopters and the planes. Even though you see them, I don't think you can crash into them. I think you just go through them. Here we go, and also this mission is a little bit easier um, to time things, because in the original Vice City, um, when you go from one island to the other, or you get too close, you have a loading screen for like one or two seconds, with like the palm trees, and so that could break your concentration, but that's not really happening here. So just have good balance like this, and you'll, you'll be fine. We're like, uh, you know, 30% of our fuel, and I already got the majority of this. Okay, so this, this one right here, this one messes people up. Fly at an angle here. Get a, a sharp, a big turn in here. Slow down a little bit. And there, you're good. You know, I don't know why people hate this mission. They, you know, they complain about it because they crashed the plane and stuff like that. But, you know, it's not that bad. If you time everything, you know, I don't think it's that bad. And look, you know, we're about to finish the mission and we're not even halfway done for um, our fuel. And whenever you want to fly this seaplane again, you can just go to the, um, uh, to the film studio dock, and it'll be there. Okay, scraped the building a little bit there, I shouldn't have been talking too much, but still fine. Make a turn here. And we get the final one now. This one's gonna be in, in the, um near the buildings too, so we're gonna slow down a little bit here. There we go. We're good. Oh, we don't even have to land the plane. Okay, I thought you had to land the plane. So that's it, you know, I don't think it's that bad of a mission, personally. Okay, land is here, and oh, there's another plane already there. But the one thing that I, that always scared me about the seaplane is trying to get out of it. When you get out, look at where you are. You're like right on top of the wing. And then you gotta try to jump to shore. That's like, uh, you know, that stressed me out. Because you miss shore by like a foot and you're dead. And um, uh, Rennie is also not at the film studios. Um, Rennie um, uh, from Vice City Stories would be in Liberty City at this time. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... Don't give a crap about that! And never tell, anyway. You're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. So, um, I'm sorry that I cut part of that cutscene out, guys. I hate censorship of, like, any kind, but, um, you know, I just don't want YouTube to give me a community guidelines strike, because that happened to me in the past when I played certain games, like Call of Duty World at War, and, um, uh, also, you know, demonetization of videos. That tends to happen, so, um, that was just a, I, I had to cut that part out on my original Vice City playthrough, too. But, um, uh, basically what's going on right here is that, um, uh, Candy sucks just having an affair with um, a Congressman Shrub. Now, Congressman Shrub, um, uh, 
he is, um, uh, he's from Alabama, I believe, but, uh, he's in Vice City, which, that doesn't make much sense to me, because then he would, wouldn't he be representing, um, Florida, because Vice City's in Florida, but anyways, um, uh, he wants to, um, uh, restrict the adult, adult film movies, and he's doing it primarily for the Puritan vote. Now, for people that don't know who the Puritans are, the Puritans are people that were in, um, uh, America. They came to America before it was even America, so they've been here for hundreds of years. They're very religious people, um, very strict. The Puritans were also the same people that did the Salem Witch Trials. So the Salem Witch, witch Trials that happened in Massachusetts, th those were the Puritans that did that. And so um, you can imagine why the congressman is trying to get their votes with the restrictions on the adult film movies. But the Puritans, there's I don't, there's barely any today. You know, you don't I don't, I don't really think they there are even many Puritans today. Um, uh, I, I could be wrong, but you know I guess this is the '80s, so this is a few decades back. But anyways, um, what Tommy is going to be doing here is he's going to follow Candy Sucks's limo as she goes and um, uh, meets with um, uh, Congressman Shrub, And he's going to take a picture of that and use that to blackmail the congressman so he doesn't pass any legislature on that. This mission is um, uh, can be pretty difficult. It's kind of weird that they're at Gonzalez's penthouse. Uh, Candy, could you call me Martha? Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. Whatever you say. So we gotta take an incriminating picture of um of the congressman, and um, I'm trying to remember back here. There was an armor um. Okay, here it is. I was looking for the armor, so I could just get more health. But now, um, anyways, I know some people are gonna tell me you can land on the rooftops, so you can land on other rooftops and make this mission much easier, but we're gonna do it the way that the mission intends for you to do it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the hard way to do the mission. But you could just land on most of these rooftops and you should be fine. Um, and, uh, okay. So I land my helicopter here, and I remember I did it the same thing when I played um, uh, Vice City a few months back. I do it here, and this is so I have space to take off, and also I don't leave it on the street because you're going to get a huge wanted level, and I mean a huge wanted level um, uh, for this. Maybe in the Definitive Edition they kind of tone it down, but it's going to get crazy. You'll see. So go in here. It might be a little confusing to find the entrance, but it's on the right side of the building. Okay, now we go up. Martha, someone's watching. <laughs> How kinky. So now we gotta escape. So take pictures of the scumbag politician, and now, um, uh, gotta get away. So you get five stars. Apparently taking pictures of a congressman having an affair constitutes having the FBI after you. Well, that's some big corruption there. But, um, uh... We gotta get away here, and this part, like, they're right on the staircase, the FBI agents, and they will have, like, SMGs, and they'll drain your health really quickly, so, like, you wanna watch out. Okay, this staircase is good so far. It was five stars in the original, too, so they didn't change it, I guess. Yeah, see, look at that.
Oh, what the? I thought I got them both. Okay, now we gotta get away. Now the crazy part is gonna be going on the street for just a second. Uh. Okay, here we go. Now I try to get away from this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, take off, take off. And you want to gain altitude um, pretty quickly, and the reason you want to do that is because the police are, like, so psycho that they will shoot your helicopter down, like, right away. So you want to get, like, a height that they can't really shoot you um, from. You're going to have helicopters chasing you. But in my original Vice City playthrough, I had, like, almost a crazy accident. I remember I remember when I was doing this mission, like, I, I blew up, like, right near the film studio, but I survived. I jumped out of the helicopter the last second. Oh my god, it's happening again. Get out, get out. Whoa, whoa, see? So... They were already there. That's, that's, that's insane. Oh my god, and they're still shooting at me. Okay, yeah, even though I don't have a wanted level yet. Oh my god, that's, that's insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. My god, I have almost no health. Thankfully, though, the missions will give you a uh, refill your health. Oh, man, that, that was crazy. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon in the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Mm. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. So now this mission, um, this is the final mission for the film studio. And this mission... Either you like this mission, you, you love this mission, or you hate this mission. That's what I notice about people. So this is like, this is like a pretty controversial mission in the GTA community. Because it's, it's either very popular with people, or people really don't like it. Um, I actually like it. I think it's a cool mission, as, despite how ridiculous some parts are. The only, my only complaint about this mission, oh great. I should probably get a new bike at this point. My only complaint about this mission is that the bikes take damage. So even if you hit the jumps correctly, the bike still gets damaged. That's like my only complaint about the mission, but I really don't mind it, to tell you the truth. I don't, um... Let's just stop in here. I'm gonna get an armor really quick, too. These stairs will lead around to a lower office. Okay, here we go. Now this um this scene is actually based on that um uh, the movie True Lies. If anyone's ever seen the movie True Lies, um, it's a movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger, he plays as like a secret government agent. It's 1990s, I think, the movie, 1990s or 1980s. Um, I saw it when I was a kid. 
but um, Arnold Schwarzenegger chases after this terrorist in the movie, and the terrorist takes a sport motorcycle and actually drives into the skyscraper, and he goes into the uh, elevator with the um, uh, with his motorcycle. Arnold Schwarzenegger's on a horse chasing after him, and so the terrorist takes the sport bike and just drives like out the window and hops from one building to the next, and Arnold Schwarzenegger can't hop that building afterwards, so he gives up the pursuit in that scene. So that's what this, this scene is based on. Okay, let's do this. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Okay. So we got the first few jumps, so that's basically what this whole mission is. You don't fight in any enemies, you don't have any cops to worry about, but you have to make all the jumps, and you have a time limit to do it too. Ooh. Okay, health on the rooftop, that's good. But that, yeah, I like the mission, just like I said, my only complaint is that the bikes take damage during this mission. Like, they should have made the bike a little bit more armored. Maybe they did in the Definitive Edition, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so you're probably gonna go through at least one bike on this mission most of the time. We're actually doing pretty good. Now, there's a way to actually cheat this mission. You can just take a helicopter, but, you know, that kind of ruins the fun of the mission. Okay, where do I go next? Oh no, ah, overshot the jump. But look at that, we got a staircase here, so we got a checkpoint. Thankfully they did put checkpoints, those just like little staircase ladders in this mission. Okay. There we go. So now I, bu I bet a bunch of you guys are like, how the hell did you do that on your first attempt? Well, um, a truth be told, it's a, I guess a combination of luck and skill. Because it's, it's, it's skill that I know, I know where all the jumps are, but it's also luck. Because you can just hit the jump at one small angle and you'll fall off the rooftop. But I still like this mission. Despite, you know, the, um, uh, the complaints that some people have, I do think this is actually a great mission. And that's going to promote Tommy's new movie. The film studio has been completed. It'll make $7,000 a day. So we have all the businesses except the pole position club now. And I'm actually surprised that I got through it on that bike. This bike is pretty damaged. 
let's stop by our businesses, because they've probably made us a lot of money. Oh, this is probably Lance, or Ken. That's gonna unlock the final um, uh, two missions, but we're gonna do that on the next part. So, uh, the Versetti gang and the Haitian gang are getting into a shootout. That's what happens at the taxi businesses. They will constantly shoot at each other. So that place is always a war, war zone. I don't even remember how much the pole position club is, but um, all the money that we've made from these businesses, we're definitely gonna have enough. Oh, I can't even collect money from this right now because of the, um, uh, yeah, the business is shut down for the, um, for the mission. Oh well, we still got plenty of money from the other businesses. Three thousand dollars there. Oh, who's this? Tommy, Paolo here, true Pastor Amigo. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. <laughs> Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel all I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. So Ken Paul wanted to be in one of the movies. And we got $5,000 from our business there. So we're at about $60,000 right now. And there we go. We should have close to $70,000. I think we're going to be good to purchase the Pole Position Club. I mean, can't, I can't imagine it being more than the film studio. Here we go. Pole Position Club is $30,000. Oh, what is this? Own 10 properties. Oh, okay. So this is the pole position club. Now to complete it to get passive income from it, you have to spend I believe $250 in the dance. What the? What is that? Okay, well that was some bad loading. Okay, so pole position club has been completed. So it's um uh, the pole position club has been completed there. Disregard what I said earlier, guys. It's um a three hundred dollars to spend on the dance. That's what it'll take to complete it, not um a two hundred fifty dollars. But um uh you know I couldn't show the dance there because I was scared that YouTube is gonna you know go crazy and demonetize this video or you know I could possibly even get a strike. Um, uh, again, so apologize, apologies for that, but you just go in there, you know, you get the dance, spend $300, and the club is completed. So, we're pretty close to the end, guys. On the next part, we'll be doing the final two missions, and then I'll be saving the Hitman missions for the end in an extra part. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.